Hey Divine Ones, it's Latoya O'Kill. Welcome back to another video. So on this video today, we're gonna do things a little different. Gonna do things a little different. I just wanna pray for you today. Just wanna pray for you. You know, I'm led by the spirit in everything that I do. I am a business woman, but I'm a godly woman first and foremost. I'm a kingdom woman and I'm led by the spirit of God. And so I just gotta do what's in my spirit for what God is, you know, speaking to me today to speak over his people. And God said, this is relevant to every chosen vessel. This is, this message is going to be relevant to every chosen one, every divine one. I'm going to tell y'all what I, what I see in the spirit, what I feel in the spirit. And I'm going to pray over y'all today. But I, I feel in the spirit and I know there's a devouring spirit. Yes, Lord. There is a devouring spirit that seeks to devour God's chosen ones. There is a devouring spirit that seeks to choke the life out of God's chosen vessels. It seeks, the spirit seeks to drain your energy. This spirit don't even want you to get up out of the bed in the morning. Do you understand me? This spirit wants you to lay around. This spirit wants you to be lazy. This spirit wants you to be unmotivated. This spirit wants to, it seeks to destroy everything that you've worked hard for, everything that you've built from the ground up. This spirit seeks to devour that, to just eat it up. And it sits on you. God showed me in the spirit, well, this spirit, I know because I've, had, I've been battling it myself. So I know I'm on time with it. And God told me, he said, you, you're not the only one that's been battling with this. God said, get online, get on this video and speak these words over my people. Encourage my people. Pray for my people today. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. And that's what we're going to do on this video today. We humbling ourselves before the mighty hand of God, before the throne of God. We come before your throne today, Father. I come before your throne today as a mouthpiece for every one of your chosen vessels, Father, for every one of your chosen ones. I come today as a mouthpiece. I humble myself before you, God. Glory be to God. And God, we cry out to you today on behalf of every divine one, on behalf of every chosen vessel, Father. We come against this devouring spirit that seeks to choke the life out of your chosen vessels, that seeks to destroy their purpose, to destroy the dreams, the visions that you have given to them. We come against this spirit today, God. Where there is laziness, where your people are not motivated, where your people are not energetic, I speak divine strength, divine power, divine energy over your people today, God. God, help your people to rise up. Give them the strength, God to fight their daily battles, to fight their daily struggles. God, as many of your people that's going to come across this prayer, going to come across this video, they feel like they're unloved. They feel like they're unwanted. They feel like they're insignificant. They feel like they don't matter. But Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you that you are giving them the identity of Christ, that you are waking them up to their spiritual identity. For every spiritual identity crisis, I shatter it today in the name of Jesus and I speak it into the atmosphere that as the Lord transforms you baby by the renewing of your mind that you will be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God God everywhere where there is spiritual amnesia today everywhere where your chosen vessels have forgotten their identity in you they have forgotten who you say they are and they have begun to take on the identity of the enemy I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, God, that you're opening up the eyes of your people. God, open the eyes and the ears of your people so that they may be able to see who you say they are, so that they may be able to hear your voice today. God, your people are hungering and thirsting after your voice, God. They are hungering and thirsting after your presence. God, let your spirit fall fresh. Glory be to God. God, let your spirit fall fresh upon your people today. Open up the windows of heaven today, Father. God, we petition heaven today, God. 
God, we stop you in your tracks today, God. We need you to send down your spirit immediately. We need your presence to fall fresh upon us today. God, we're dealing with distractions of the enemy. We're dealing with, with things that the enemy is throwing at, throwing at us, trying to get us off track, trying to stop the plans and the purpose of God for our life. But God, we know that you said in your word that your purpose will stand. Glory be to God. God, every one of your chosen vessels that are not aware of their purpose. They don't know what their purpose is and they're seeking you for their purpose. They're seeking you for their gifts. Father, I thank you right now that you're gonna give clarity, that you're gonna give answers where there is uncertainty, where there is doubt, where there is confusion. For God, we know that you are not the author of confusion. Father, I thank you right now that you're gonna give your people the answers that they seek. God, show them your divine blueprint that you have for their life. God, begin to renovate their minds, renew their hearts, renew their spirits, creating them a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit within them so that they may seek you, so that they may seek your face while you may be found, so that they may call upon you while you are near. God, I, I put an urgency in the spirit of every chosen vessel that listens to this message, that watches this prayer. I speak urgency over their spirits today, that they will begin to make haste, that they will get in a hurry, that they will seek you, Father, in these last and evil days like they have never sought you before. For God, we know that now is the acceptable time. Now is the acceptable time to serve you. Now is the acceptable time to live for you, God. God, give your people a mind and a heart to live for you. In this generation where everybody is going their own way. In this generation where everybody is following their own blueprint. God, help your people to be able to hear from you. To consult with you. To make decisions based off of your plan and your will and your purpose for their lives. I speak over every household that's being represented here today. Every chosen vessel that's watching this video, I speak over your household today. I pray for your household. Where there is confusion in your house, I declare peace today in the name of Jesus. And I hear the Lord say, you declare it as well. You walk throughout your house and speak it into the atmosphere today. I declare peace in this home. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Any activity that's going on in your life, that's going on in your home, going on in your environment, going on in your relationships, your friendships, your children, your family ties, any activity that is not of God, I declare and I decree, I command it to cease today, to stop today in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that is living in you, that's abiding in you, that is not of God, I call it out today. As you hear the words of this prayer, I declare and I decree that the Lord is cleaning your house today, that he's cleaning you, that he's making you like new. He's preparing you for his return in Jesus' name. If you believe it today, baby, you are saved, you are healed, you are delivered, you are set free. As you listen to the words of this prayer and you agree with it in your spirit. God, as they lay out everything before you today, Father, I pray that you will give them a heart to surrender to you today. That you will give your people, the person that's listening to this message, the person that's on the other end of this camera, that's receiving these words today. God, give them a heart. Print their heart today. God, make their hearts tender and sensitive to your word. Tender and sensitive to the anointing of God so that they may know when they feel you, when they feel your presence. Glory be to God. God, help them to surrender today. God, a lot of people that's going to watch this video, they've been running from you for a long time. They've been running, going the other way. They've been avoiding their purpose. They've been avoiding the call of God on their life. Oh, God. But I thank you today, God, that you running them down in the spirit. I thank you for sending your Holy Spirit. I feel the power of God. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to encamp around them, to surround them, God, to where they come out with their hands up and they say, Lord, I can't run no more. I can't run no more. Father, what is it that you want me to do? I will do whatever you want me to do. I will go wherever you call me to go. God, deal with your people. God, don't let up on them. God, deal with them in dreams. Deal with them in visions. God, deal with them so till they come out with their hands up. Give your people a spirit of boldness today. The righteous are as bold as a lion. God, I speak 
this word over their lives today. That the words, your words, God, that they will begin to take root, form roots within your people today. God, help them to be unmovable. Help your people to be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the works of the Lord. God, help your people today to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Though the storms may blow in their life, though the problems and the circumstances and the sicknesses and the situations may arise in their life, though the wind and the rain may fall, though the wind blows, God, and the rain falls, and the thunder roars and the lightning flashes. Though things are going on in this land that we do not have control over. God, I pray that you will help your people to be just like that tree planted. Ooh, glory be to God. Plant your people in you, God. Plant your people in your word. We know that the times may change. The seasons may change. Everything changes. But God, help us to put our hand in your hand. For you are an unchanging God. Your word is the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. God, help us to anchor ourselves in your word. Glory be to God. I lift up every chosen one, every divine one, every chosen vessel. I lift them up before you today in the spirit, God. These are your people. And I place every one of them into your hands. For God, I know that in, in your hands is the safest place that they can be. God, provide protection for your people. Provide provisions for your people. Where there is no way, make ways for them, God. Where there was a no, God, I declare a yes in the spirit. Where doors were closed in their faces, I declare and I thank you right now that the doors are just flying open and your people are able to walk through and possess that which you have declared is already theirs right now in the name of Jesus. I speak over every marriage. I declare restoration of these marriages today in the name of Jesus for what the Lord has joined together. No man, no spirit, no presence, no creature shall be able to tear apart. God, restore these marriages today. Help these people to rise up and be kingdom ambassadors for Christ. Give us all the strength, Father, to live what we preach, to live what we teach, to become walking examples of your word. So that people that have never even read the Bible and don't know anything about you, Jesus, give us the strength to get our lives so aligned with your word that when people see our lives, that they will begin to cry out and say, what must I do to be saved? What must I do to know about this God that you serve? Oh, God, I thank you. Glory be to God. My God, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I declare and I decree that the words from this prayer shall fall on good ground. They shall fall on good ground and they shall bring forth much fruit in your life, baby. I want you to keep on seeking the kingdom of God because you're on the right path. You are on the right path. God is doing something with his chosen vessels. Every spirit that was sent to attack you, to stop you, to hinder this move of God in your life, it will not win. It will not prosper. I decree today that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, baby. Every tongue that rises up against you, every mouth that's speaking against you, that's talking against what God is doing in your life, God said you shall condemn it. I hear the Lord say render it useless today. Father, give your people the power and the strength. Awaken them to the power that you've already placed in them. Because you don't even have to give us anything else, God. For we already possess it. Wake your people up to the power, the authority that they already possess. Wake them up to the power that, uh, of knowing that they can render Satan's attacks useless. That whatever he sends to distract them, whatever spirit comes to devour their anointing, to devour their energy, to devour their spirit, that they have the power to render that spirit useless. And that devouring spirit that God showed me, I render you useless today in the name of Jesus. Every attack that you making on God's chosen vessels, it will not work. Enemy, I declare and I decree that you shall fall all on your own sword. Glory be to God. You will not stop the destiny of God's chosen vessels. We take our place today, God. We take our power. We take our throne. We take our crowns today. And we walk boldly in the earth realm. 
We stand for righteousness today. Where everybody else is bowing down for the devil, dancing to the devil tune. We stand for righteousness today in the name of Jesus. I love y'all so much. I will continue to pray for you. I want you to continue to pray with me. Because it's going to take some prayer, baby, to get through this season that we're in. But God says, I know the plans that I have for you. I have plans to bless you, baby. This is, this is your father speaking to you. I have plans to bless you. I have plans to prosper you. I have plans to give you hope and a future. God has a future for you. God has a destiny. He has a divine destiny for you. And the Lord says, if you will get serious about my plans for you, if you will allow your plans to match my plans, God said, I will not let nothing hinder my purpose. I will not let nothing stop it. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. The purpose will always win. Even if you decide, because God has given you free will. So even if you decide to not do what he's purposed you to do, God says it will trouble you all the days of your life. I feel the power of God. He said you can put on for everybody else. But he said when you get all by yourself, when you get in the dark, when you get any moment you get by yourself, he said you will toss and turn at night when you sleep. You could be making millions of dollars. You could be highly successful in your field. But if, if it is not what the Lord has purposed you to do, he said my purpose will win. My purpose will prevail. That thing will trouble you. I know because I've done other things where I was successful in it, but I always felt empty. I still felt empty. I still felt unfulfilled. I still felt like something was missing. It's the purpose, baby. The Lord's purpose will prevail. So I speak that over each and every one of y'all. I pray that for each and every one of y'all, that the Lord will give you the answers, that the Lord will give you the clarity, that he will show you his divine blueprint for your life, and that he will give you the boldness and the confidence to take action on what he's purposed you to do before it's too late. And I also pray that the Lord will make you conscious of your time, that he will make you aware of how you're spending your time, that he will show you and teach you how to number your days so that you will not squander your time, so that you will make use of the time that the Lord has given you to do what he's called you to do. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Keele, and I will check in with y'all later.